For me to keep, so we won't add that. Uh, Beast Wars. How cool is that? Beast Wars jigsaw puzzle. Hopefully, it's all in there. But uh, this is number six, number six, so uh, let's do this! Fucking calculating his fucking calculating his earnings already. Take pictures of our receipt, man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so update. We went to two garage sales to start off with. Fucking killed it with the uh, VHS uh, and some DVDs. He did alright. He got a fucking few little constellation prize stuff. Uh, then we went to that first shop where I had fucking heaps of books and uh, VHS tapes. We both killed it there. Um, I got some wicked ones though because. Uh, I went out the back and looked through the boxes personally. Yeah, it was a good, good shot that one. Just saying. Uh, then we did a couple more where I got a fucking ton more of fucking VHS. You got a ton more books. Um, that's shit. I'm not even going there. That is the worst fucking place I've ever been to. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to animal, animal rescue. Yep. And then uh, we just went to a couple more and we both killed it. He got some block mounts um, and some more books. I got some more VHS. I was just killing it on VHS today. It is the day of VHS today. I don't know, this bum area fucking uh, just have them all. Um, so, you know, we're gonna show everything that we got at the end again like we always do, but um, you know, if it's my opinion, I'd be winning right now, but it's probably even Stevens. Yeah, but uh, all... basically it's VHS versus books right now, but fuck, I've got some Pearl of fucking uh, videos. A couple of like, good little items. Too. Yeah, and I've got a few bits and pieces that are fucking good too, so. Sweet, um, right while I'm trying to turn this camera off right now and then putting it away and unscrewing it, he'll probably be running in there going to the fucking seat. Hey, look at that, fucking needs a piece. Yeah. 
Eight hours of fucking kangaroos. <laughs> so we're in the middle of fucking nowhere trying to get home. Uh, we've seen junkies. We've seen fucking meth heads. We've seen a little bit of everything today. So we're gonna go home, we're gonna show you everything we got. We both cleaned up again. And uh, you're gonna see it all. You're gonna see it all. We got a lot of media and a lot of books and all that, so bear with us. We'll see what we can show you, but we got some uh, good gold mine stuff as well. Stuff that's gonna get some good money. What do you reckon you spent? I reckon I spent about under a hundred bucks. Definitely under a hundred bucks. What about you? Uh, I reckon I spent about 120, maybe 130. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's fucking decent. So, I've definitely got a grand's worth of stuff. I'm telling you now. I'm adding up all those different little bits and pieces that I'm gonna get. I know it already. I know it! Can't argue with that man. 10x. 10x. And a lot of my stuff was 25 cents each. <laughs> Alright, we'll be back in the shed. Back in the shed. This is all these books that he got. There's some DVDs and shit that I, I got. A whole heap of videos. Expensive of videos since I've looked them up. And more videos and games and all that. So we'll take you through uh, a lot that we got like last time. Um, we'll start with uh, my stuff this time I think. I got a shit ton of videos. A shit ton of videos for like 25 cents each. All these ones here, I have uh, can definitely get 100% $10 plus postage on. Um, there's some real cool uh, cartoons there. Uh, this lot here, I'll get 10 bucks, maybe more a pop. Uh, but um, stuff like this, you're gonna get $10 plus postage every day of the week. Same with these ones that I've got here. 10 bucks plus postage, you know, you're coming the Barbarian, people want that. Uh, it's not the video shop one though, so it was only a $10 one. Got a whole heap of clamshells there. Uh, these ones here, Dumb and Dumber and all that, they all go for 10 bucks each. Pretty good for 50 cents and 25 cents that I paid. These ones all $10 each as well. So just those ones that I say are gonna be $10 each from my calculations. $10 plus everyone pays their postage, they will sell, trust me, they will sell. Uh, there already is uh, $790 if they're $10 each. $790, let's keep adding up. These ones would go definitely for 20, 20 bucks each, 100%. Like Wedlock, Care Bear the Movie, the uh, Big Clamshell, No Retreat, No Surrender. Or this one, even this weird little one. This one will go for 20 bucks, piece of piss from 1988. Add those in as well, 20 bucks. And then these are my fucking gravy videos that I found. I love these, found this copy of The Fog. I'll get about 35 to 40 bucks for that. The Carpenter, good luck finding this on DVD or anything like this. This is a nice horror. Should get about 40 bucks for that, maybe even 50. This clamshell, this is a Hollywood Vice Squad. Hey, no one knows what this one is because, uh, oh shit, are we allowed to have that on YouTube? Um, it will go for about 50, guarantee it will go for 50. Clamshell, and uh, let's make sure it's not a, um, no, it's not a uh, Betamax. This one here, this will go for about 50 or maybe even more. We've never seen this movie before, no one will ever find it. Uh, when you're young and feeling wild, even zombies just want to have fun. So this will go for a fucking fair bit. I'm telling you now, this zombie movie will go for a fair bit. Definitely over 50 bucks. Monster Squad, my favorite find of the day for the videos. About 40 to 50 bucks. Uh, Enemy, Enemy Mine, one of my favorite movies. That will go for about 40 bucks. That's a fucking wicked movie. This will go just because it's got uh, the uh, Playboy Bunny on it and because wow 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 um, that should go for about 40 bucks and Sex Lives and Videotapes uh, this one will probably go for about 30 bucks so adding all that together when we still got more yes we got more then I grabbed uh, these uh, blank videotapes I've got a three pack here and then another these ones are 240 uh, instead of 180 so that's how they go longer I should get 50 bucks for all of those bulked up like that. So add that. We got Die Hard Trilogy. Pick that up for five bucks. Probably 20 bucks I'll get for it. I don't know. Probably get 20 bucks for that and I paid five bucks for that. And The Phantom Menace. Not sure what I'll get. Maybe 20, 30 bucks. So we'll just add $20 to the total. ET 100th Anniversary Collector's Series. Uh, Blu-ray. Paid a dollar. Might get 20, might get 10. So I'll only add 10 up to my total. I get 10 for these movies easily. It's 
some of them sealed as well. Uh, this here, Death Wish. This is every Death Wish movie, I looked this up already. I'll get um, 50 bucks for that. Sold comps. War of the Worlds, I paid $2 for this. This is the whole TV series of the War of the Worlds. Easily get 50 bucks for that. I paid $30 for all these MacGyvers. I should get about 100 to 120 bucks for all those MacGyvers right there. So add that to the kitty. Uh, Robotech, and I laughed when I paid $15 and I was like, ah, but uh, yeah, they comp about fucking 150 bucks sold. So 100 and, between 120 and 150 bucks sold, so I'll say 120. Uh, and this fucking, I found this fucking weird piece of shit. $4, and this comps for 50 bucks, so happy days. Uh, then we got, uh, oh, you're not, you're not enjoying my total that's uh, adding up? Like, no, because it could be, could be beating. Cracker day, yeah, crack, cracker. I'll, I'll keep, I'll keep going. I know you're getting upset there. Um, I found uh, Beetle Bailey. Beetle Bailey. Uh, that's for me to keep, so we won't add that. Uh, Beast Wars. How cool is that? Beast Wars jigsaw puzzle. Hopefully, it's all in there. That should go for about thirty bucks. Fingers crossed, it's all in there. Paid three dollars. This little fucking stupid thing. I just had this feeling that it was going to be worth something. Uh, Jumbly, Jumbly Foods Corporation. Uh, two have sold for $55. So, happy with that. Found another Frio scarf. Frio scarves, I've been finding these like no tomorrow and selling them like no tomorrow for $30 to $40. This one will get 40 bucks for. Easy, I'll get you to hold this. Oh, I found this jersey. This jersey is a nothing jersey with no logos and all that. But I'm pretty sure this is, this looks like the country town that fucking Fifey played in with the same uh, jersey he wore and it's got a number 7 on it. It, it, was, it is a champion jersey just so you know. It is a champion jersey as well. Um, I paid four dollars even if I get 20 bucks who cares someone's gonna fucking like this. And then uh, second last, can't leave this fucking last, I paid 15 dollars for this. This is a heritage, uh, I have this in my fucking <laughs> thing. Uh, heritage uh, Eagles, um, Heritage 18. Uh, Replica of their 1988, 1987. Uh, pay 15, I'll definitely get about 100 bucks for this. Maybe 80 to fucking, uh, between 80 and 100 from the comps. And this wicked vintage, vintage, uh, Justice for All Metallica shirt. Yeah, that's cool. Spin around. Hammer of Justice. And back around. What does that say? 2006. <laughs> yeah, so um, it's fucking Infinity Stitch, but I paid five bucks for that and it's large, so you know what? Yeah, good size. I might keep that, so I'm not going to add that into the fucking total. I added all this together of all my estimates and I underestimated on a lot of things because uh, I just underestimated and um, for old times sakes, I'm going to bring up my kitty. So, kitty. I spent under one hundred dollars, under one hundred dollars, and I added it all up. I added it all up. I even underestimated what I'm gonna get. Underestimated what I'm gonna get. It's been a VHS day. Kitty, what are we gonna get? We are gonna get whew, two thousand two hundred dollars from streaming under a hundred bucks. Kitty, fuck off. How is that? How is that? Can you top the kitty? Can you top the kitty? And I had to bring the kitty back just because I want an extra point. <laughs> you don't know where to start. Okay. I do want to. I, I do want to. I'm going to start with your stuff over here because I really want to show this. Okay. So I like this, even though they're damaged as shit. <laughs> they are. They're damaged as shit. You fucking anyway. He's got the rock. You paid eight bucks each for these though. Six bucks. Six bucks. Yeah. Oh prick. You got the rock. Jeff Hardy. Undertaker. And Alien Three. Alien Three is pretty cool. That is pretty fucking sweet. Got this too. Picked out by Rob. Yeah, I picked that up and gave it to you because you got a kid. little girl. Brand new. Yep, that's a nice one. Contributing to her education, so thank you very much. Yes, yep, yep. Got to contribute. Yeah. I picked up a few things and gave you a few things. What should we start with? So, today was VHS day and pretty much everywhere that we went had VHS, funnily enough. Rob was... Uh, Lucky enough. Sitting Lucky enough. Circle. However, I still managed to do reasonably well. I think I've, I've kind of worked out it's been about 150 I reckon. I haven't actually done the sums of what I'm going to get out of it but uh, there is a fair bit there still. Mm. Mm. 
let's start with the clothes, eh? Let's start with the clothes. So just a couple of like random jumpers. Random. Yeah, they, you know, they're nothing special. But they're like the country one that I got, kind yeah, of thing. Kind of like country ones. I found that and donated that to you, by the way. Yep. Yeah, you did. Yep. Actually. Yeah. Another one of my finds should be on my list anyway. Football yep. academy ones. They're not going to sell for big money, but you know, sort of a bread and butter item. And a 2008 Hawks Grand Final hat. I do like that. I do like that. One dollar do. To go along with a nice Hawks jumper. Yep, that's a good one. Uh, that does have the. Uh, Adidas as well. Yep. Yep. I like the. Uh, it's got the Hawks if you hold it up. If you can see that on the camera, it's got the Hawks uh, imprint on the front. But anyway, and the stitching. Uh, I actually like this. Did I, mean, I walk? Did I walk past? The, oh yeah, I left that one. I left that one. I left so, that one. Yeah, 2013 tour, but it's got all <laughs> like the country teams on it. Yeah, that's cool. As well. So someone, someone will love. I don't like rugby. That's why I did not want to pick it up because I do not know any of those teams. So trying to list that would be sticking, sticking with the uh, sports thing. So yeah, I like that sharks. as well. Um, you see the tag here. SharksRugby.co.zambia is what the ZA is. Uh, yeah, 2XL. Five bucks. You need 2XL for uh, rugby players? Yep. <laughs> I have no idea what this actually is. I like this. I don't know what that is either. But I don't know, man, but it's embossed. And uh, if anyone knows what that is, just tell us in the comments because uh, yeah. it's different. Different. Muscle fit, size L. Looks like a. Muscle thing. fit? Yeah, muscle fit. Okay. I'm guessing maybe a training shirt or something, but for five bucks I was like, it's got reef on yeah. it, it's got Cali on it, spray paint, and it's embossed. <laughs> uh, this is a Nino and Pasadena shirt. I actually don't mind these. Um, I'm going to keep that for myself because it's an XL. I've got a couple of those at home already. Uh, basketball jersey. Yep. Still need to check if it is legit. It's Washington. It seems to be. It looks legit to me. Yeah. That's legit. I don't know who that is. But John. I don't know about that fucking so on name. Yeah. I think that so on name is custom. The yeah. rest is all legit. Especially that. Yeah. Yeah, don't know. I paid five bucks. So yeah. Not, Worth not it. Lot. I would have picked that up. So. Not a lot of risk in that one. Uh, plain old polo. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. It's made in the Philippines. Maybe not. <laughs> Wow, Maybe not. Uh, this is just a Hawaiian style shirt. It's got a weird tag. It says Acme, but made in Fiji. Isn't that fucking not the Coyote and the Roadrunner? Yeah. Hmm. So, I don't know. Nice lot. These, these will sell. Yeah, they'll right. sell. They'll sell it. Not big money, but still. Free and butter sort of stuff. 2013 Formula One. Nice. Uh, this one is a beer related shirt with a malt works tag. Mm. So I, ha I have actually sold a couple of these malt works tags now, including uh, a 4X one to the States for about 80 bucks. Mm. This is just Boynton's beer. So if you want to look like a bumblebee, buy the shirt. Yep. Nice. Uh, what have we got here? Authentics. It's cool. Yeah. World like Series 2013. Style. Yeah, that's a pretty good fucking shirt. It's very rare to get baseball stuff around here. We have Garfield. I haven't actually opened this up yet. Garfield uh, bed sheet set. Mm. Don't mess with my mess. That doesn't fucking make sense, Garfield, you prick. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what it's like. I just grabbed this. Hoping it would be all good. Don't mess. Don't mess with my mess. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty cool. And like I said, if you buy, if you get old vintage sheets um, and Duna covers, and they're not worth any money, but they're fucking cool, turn them into a fucking curtain for your kid's fucking bedroom. Turn them into a curtain. Rob found the castle of Grayskull a few uh, missions ago. This is not a grail. I didn't say it was a grail, right. but it's pretty cool. Come this side so I'll go and have the light behind you. There we go. So the Montreal Pirates, winners of the World Series 1979. 
tags missing, has the old vintage feel, and also a single stitch at the bottom. It does have a couple of small little stains on it as well now that I'm looking at it in the light. It's pretty fucking cool. Yeah, very cool. Definitely get a hundred bucks for that. I think easy, yeah. Easy, easy hundred. Yep, so that was a cool find. I like it. No point in those often. Uh, what else have we got? Just a sealed 3D puzzle. Costs nice. about 30 bucks. Coming around this side. Because the sun. Uh, Magic Herald game. Yep. So they had some listed for around 50, 55. Yep. Kind of nice. Three Ken Duncans. Yeah, you love your fucking Ken Duncans every time. Yeah. You find them every time. They go alright. Uh, Red Alert Music. Yep. This was actually found by Robin. Yep. Who found that? You found that. I found that, yeah. Uh, this was a fun little find from a garage sale, first one of the day. So, Melbourne Cup. Yeah, what year was that? Oh, yeah. 2003, 4, 5. Kyrie Diva. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Some yeah. collector will want that. Dockers Ball. A Dockers. Uh... Stubby. Stubby. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I need a coffee. Yeah, you couldn't think there, mate. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> cool. And then this one. This is cool. The first season. You'll get for, you'll get thirty to forty bucks for this through product. Yeah, I was pretty pretty stoked on that. Uh, a couple of other ones I just grabbed today. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, Rolling Stone Premiers two thousand one. Someone will be looking for that. And then this is just a, a random one that has a purpose. Uh, small hat Williams Racing Team. Yep. Formula One. This is official. Mm. Didn't really look much into that any further. Uh, occasionally I do buy the odd cooking book. I've got a couple of these and have sold like the big hard copy ones before. Mm. You get 30, around 30, 40 bucks for that. Uh, we've got a bunch of media as well. So you just got what you deserve then? Yeah. Fucking coming hey, in on my territory. He, he was in the car saying, look at this guy, he's going to run in and grab it. And I did run in and grab what I could. And mm. I've just seen a whole wall of like blank media. I'm like, oh. yeah. Moving into my territory, but if I move into his fucking uh, book territory, but when I last ripped when I found those Lord of the Rings fucking box set, which is worth a hundred dollars and they were fucking like three dollars, he took them out of my hands and said they're mine. Thank you very much. But anyway, let's continue. So the the books are pretty sporadic today, but we found this one just actually lying out on the ground. That's good. Um, hardcover. Some listed for around one fifty for some reason. I don't really know why. Uh, but it's in really good condition and it did originally sell for 45 bucks, so nice. I can't argue with that. Uh, a Sacred Path tarot card set. Nice of them to say all 44 cards. Oh, so about 40 bucks. A few games today. Stuck with um, ones are new, Resident Evil, Resident Evil 6. Mm. Last of Us. Uh, 3 from the Dregs series. PlayStation 3, man, come on. You should got PlayStation 1. Oh, she didn't, she, didn't she didn't let you. <laughs> she let me. <laughs> this is for the personal collection because I got one of two. Uh, this is, is wicked. This is team. wicked. So Worth it. In that shop, we had to take a punt. And, uh, it was a punt. Yeah, you couldn't get your. We went backstage. Yeah. Let's just say that. Twenty bucks, seven dollars paid for life. <laughs> Damn. That was a fail. And this one has one up at the moment, which has a bid at 50 bucks plus shipping. So. Yeah, that's a, that's a bloody good one. I that's like that. Game. I like that. Uh, you only need to see that little logo to know that that's worth some money. Apple. Yeah, it's a twisted pair transceiver. Mm. Transceiver. 30 bucks, maybe. Maybe more. And then we got various uh, books. Shit ton of books. Shit ton of books. You can show the books. Just... Yeah, so we got like, things like Tony Robbins, um, fantasy, fantasy, fantasy. Pretty much most of these are fantasy, of course. Uh, this little set here was eight bucks and goes for around sixty plus shipping. More fantasy. And yeah, good to find like some of these sort of older ones that you just never see. So this is the first time I've, I've found this particular author out in the wild. So that was cool. And yeah, a couple more there. So they're all, they're all solid sort of, I don't know. So you spent about uh, 120. You spent about 120. I reckon about 140. 140. I'm not gonna bring up the kitty for you. Cause kitty, 
Kitty's mine. I'm gonna bring up the Beatbox Bank. How much can you get in your Beatbox Bank today? You've definitely got at least 1500 bucks worth of shit there. Ken Duncan's. You got the fucking. It's 100 bucks in just blame media. Yep. $50 game. $100 shirt. That fucking. That shirt will probably go for 150 bucks, that baseball one. Um, yeah, some of the. Like, rugby related stuff. Muscle shirt. Muscle shirt, yep. Yeah. But, pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. We'll let uh, everyone judge. Alright, so we've gone with our two favourite items of the day. I didn't choose the ones that are worth the most because I have stuff there that's worth 150 bucks. But um, one of my favourites was this Beast Wars uh, jigsaw puzzle just because it's Beast Wars Transformers. I've never seen a Beast Wars Transformers out anywhere. Um, and these are getting popular because apparently there's a Beast Wars uh, movie that they're going to be making soon as well. So that, and Monster Squad because that is one that I've been looking for. And because Flipper found it before me, this is one of those fucking uh, movies that I have been looking for. So uh, it's not a grail, but um, it's uh, one of those movies that I've kind of wanted to find. And because Flipper found it before me, fuck him, I needed to fucking find it. So these are my, these are my favourites. Not worth the most, I get 50 and maybe 30, but um, not worth the most, but they're my favourites. Yeah, and I've gone with the uh, pirate shirt again. Yeah. Single stitch, Stephen East, and the Dockers first season stubby holder. Definitely good. Mainly because this guy's a huge fan, and yeah, he's gonna hate it. And it's all right. It doesn't. It's okay. It's okay. But uh, all right, guys, put your votes down in the comments this time. We are. Uh, this time, you know, I'll, I'll go with the draw. Um, but what a cracker of a day! Like we, we was... did not expect to have anything. Happen today, to be honest. It's going to take a long time for us both to list all this stuff anyway. Um, you've got a lot of book sets. I've got a lot of fucking work to fucking clean up and uh, test some videos and all that. Um, put your votes in. Uh, who you think wins? Uh, Frankie, me, or a draw. Whatever you reckon. You can vote for a draw this time. Um, not that you couldn't before. Anyway, guys, click like, subscribe. Frankie's is in the link. See you later. That's the last one of this year. We'll probably come back at the end of January. Or next one. Yeah, yeah end of January. January. So, Merry fucking Christmas to you all. <laughs> See you!